Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we explored the Farren jungle down this way. Of course, we got the charged gear, and along with it, we were able to clip the storm that was in the sky. So we have this giant sky island that we need to find our way up to and sort of explore. It looks like a dragon, right? So I'm really curious to see what this will lead to, but this is all, of course, for the current quest of Secret of the Ring Ruins. So a fork of lightning heralded the appearance of a new sky island. So that's what we're after for right now. I'm very curious about it. Hopefully it opens the way to what might be, you know, details on the fifth stage. I figure for right now, we'll just have this launch us and we'll just get straight over there. So you can see it's straight ahead. It's not really that difficult to get to in that way. So that's at least good. So we're heading back over like this. I hope I can make it. I'm a little bit nervous that we won't be able to, but I don't see any other way really around. So but we're just gonna try it like this and see if Tulin can help us get over. It'll just be one little bit at a time. So as soon as we can, we will boost again. We're getting closer for sure. I think we'll make it. We have plenty of stamina. So yeah, the skies are nice and clear now. Before it was very stormy and scary. Not the case any longer. We're at the Thunderhead Isles. Whoa. So I won't quite be able to make it onto that part of the island, I don't think. But honestly, it's maybe for the best. I want to start over here. Uh-oh, we're about to get zapped. Uh, maybe I should change my gear a little bit. We'll switch back over to the Captain 4 Reaper. We should be safer now. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're at the Thunderhead Isles. I don't know what we'll really discover here, but it's bound to be something, right? But we're way over here. We'll just have to make our way all the way down. So since there's not really much going on on this island, this is like the lowest one, except for the one we're supposed to land on, I think we just wanna ascend upwards, yeah, right through this thing, and this will bring us to the top of that, unless it's sort of hollow, then we might we might run into something, but I don't think it'll be that way. Yep, right here on this perfect little circle. So what's going on around here? I wanna try to explore every little bit of it as well as I can. If I zoom in here, will it zoom in on the map on the bottom right? It looks like it won't. Okay. So let's just take a little bit of a look around. I'll toss around these pots too. Oh my goodness, it almost got me. Whoa, did it just it knocked that tree over? That was so cool. Not very expected, but very cool. Okay, I don't think any of those had anything in them. Just looking for extra arrows because we're down to 43 of them and I just want more. But I do see a box over this way. And a couple more boxes over that way. So yeah, I'll be just trying my best to thoroughly explore everything today. We'll see where it gets us. Uh, let's start with this. You know, I'll drop it like that. There we go, get, get two things done at once, right? There we go. Cool. Couple more arrows for us. I'm doubtful these will have anything, but I might as well give it a toss. There's another uh, geoglyph over there I have to deal with eventually, but not now. Okay, getting over here then, just to do the same thing. Pick this up, drop it back down. Get one more arrow, which it makes a difference as we're slowly climbing up them. Oh no, <laughs> that one did not break. There we go, much better. So yeah, hopefully we can get back up to like 100 arrows or something over time. It's just good to have them. But I don't really see too much else going on around here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, is that just a Korok front? It looks like it. Yeah, not too much to do around here. So we're just moving from one area to the next, right over to here. Yeah, okay. So I'll pop down this way. And that's where we started, right down there. I'm just trying to keep a good bearing on everything. Oh, I already see some enemies to fight. How easy would it be to make my way over oh, there, though? Actually, maybe not worth it, because remember, I can just ascend up through some other ways. There's more stuff down there. Or is that where we started? That was where we started, I think. I don't know. Whoa, what's with this cube? Well, this, whoa! Okay, electrocuted. Um, What do we do with them? Are they just here for decoration? I don't really see what we do with them, so I'll just leave them be. I don't want to attack you any other way. There we go. I'll leave those cubes alone for now. But it does have me really curious. I don't know, maybe we haven't seen the spot. Hard to tell from here, because it does lead back up. I hope I can make this. Oh no, I've made a mistake, haven't I? Okay, I can just slowly climb. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh-oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is not good. I might have to equip the froggy gear real quick. Uh, because if not, I'm going to slip and slide all the way down. 
Um, there we go. I'm right back where I started. This is not good. It's not just gonna get all the way back over there. This is so silly. Okay, I'm getting back out here, but there is a blood moon on the way too, so I guess it's maybe good that I didn't destroy that one monster because I would've just had to do it again. I'm not really finding too much though, so maybe I won't go too crazy with like exploring around. I just wanna make sure we're not missing anything major, uh, which so far doesn't seem to be the case. And one of these cubes is about to get zapped, so I wanna stay away from that one. Oh man. Uh, you know what, yeah, let's see if we can't fight away this one enemy before the blood moon happens. That might be an interesting situation. This is right up here. It's not a super crazy one, I don't think. We're gonna slice it away three times like that, and we get the win. Okay, cool. Grabbing that stuff, and then we just keep moving. Because you can see other little bits. Okay, there, there is something over there that might be interesting. I'm not seeing much around here. I'm gonna plop down to this side, pick that up, climb up here. And I should be able to yeah, make it to this side and then we'll ascend up to the top of that island where there's that one enemy to fight. Got it. So at least we're dealing with some enemies. I prefer just, you know, to find some cool collectibles or something, but not really discovering that much so far. Okay, wait, there's a chest here. What do we got inside? And then we'll deal with you. Uh. The Mighty Zonite Spear. This is nice, the powerful Zonite Spear made by, from Zonite. Uh, oh, what do I wanna drop though, is the question. Um, For now, what's like my weakest? If I, if I type, I can only do by type. Um, I mean, I have, don't I have, oh no, okay, I thought I had two of these for a moment, I don't. It's so hard to say, but I guess I just drop the spiky ball hammer. And then I go and deal with you. Ooh, that was good, but not good enough. Come on. And is this a level three or a level four? It's level four, okay. So I might wanna just get a strong weapon out here. This thing is badly damaged though, so if I could just do that, that's not too big of a deal, or too bad of a deal, I suppose. Um, then I might wanna electrocute them just from a better angle than this. Ooh, don't knock them off, okay? Oh, oh okay, okay, ready? Boom, electrocuted them. I'm gonna start swinging them with something else, the black mob one hammer. This is a lot of damage, so it's pretty good. And then boom, come on, one more hit. Should do the trick, two more hits maybe. Something, come on, gotcha. So there's another enemy defeated, that's pretty nice. Now before this thing gets zapped, I'm switching back over to this. So we got Soldier Concert Four Horn from that. Here comes that Blood Moon. So that enemy might just attack me again in a second, we'll see. Um. I have a lot of those, so, so I guess I'm gonna hop back down here. Let me get somewhere a little bit easier <laughs> before the blood moon hits. Okay, we've seen this before. So I think I can skip it pretty easily. Just like that. So, I'm gonna be in the middle of the air. I gotta be careful. Here we go, got it. So we made it across from that. I do see on this side we just need to send our way upwards. But is there anything cool around here? I don't think so. I feel like I'm not being super rewarded for exploring, so I won't go too crazy with it. We are definitely going the right way, though. I think for now. Yeah, we just gotta head up here. Just like that, we're heading up farther. This is going pretty well overall. What I'm questioning though is like, what are we going to find at the end of all this? I mean, hopefully more answers towards our final sage, but will there be a fight? Will there be a temple? I just don't know. Getting some extra goodies around here, so I might as well try to grab these while I have the chance. But inside of here, I will break some more of these crates. Oh, we'll get a bundle arrows out of that one. Very nice. Okay, we're getting somewhere with that. I'll break these. Very rare that these pots even drop anything, but the time it did, it dropped an arrow. Whoa, what is this? It's just an orange bright bloom seed. Oh, is it? No, okay, I thought it was something I could power up. Oh, I think I see what's about to happen. It's about to get zapped, and that's gonna push me over. All right, here we go. Whoa, 
<laughs> cool. That was really cool. Is there anything more down there? That's where we were before. So I don't think so. So, I guess we have the power of electricity here to help us get around from time to time. There's some extra things down that way. I don't know if there's actually anything to get down there. So, we'll stay higher up for now. Hmm. Pick up some of these. Break some more. This is provably worth it, because it seems like we get at least an arrow every time. Oh, try that again. So this time we got a bunch of wooden planks as well. It makes me wonder, oh, a bunch of fish in here actually. Well, let's go and grab those ancient arowanas. Got it. And then I see you right there. Got it. Okay, so there's one more over this, but I try to get as much of the fish as I can because you could really make the most out of it. Another stand bulb. But yeah, is there supposed to be something I'm supposed to use all these platforms for? All these planks. I can build it into a boat or something, but it was, won't really do much up here. And there's not really anything up this way. We'll use this just to get across. Not too bad, whoa! Okay, we got another one of these thunder guys. Thunder whiz robe. Gotcha. Let me run over there real fast and maybe just be able to hit you. I got you a little bit. There we go. Come on. Okay, they're trying to disappear now. Let's get Yonobo. Yonobo. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's actually really not good. I need to eat food right now. Um, We could get shock resistance, but here, I'm just gonna do this. I just really need the food. Cause that did so much damage. You think it wouldn't, considering the fact that I have like electric resistance. Like that's the whole thing. I guess I don't entirely have it. I'm missing it a little bit. I mean, I guess that's not electric resistance. It just gives me electric damage or something. It's weird. Okay, I think my bow right now is a little conductive. All my bows except for the Mighty Construct ones are. Okay. Okay, they got rid of them. I got another Topaz Rod, even though I don't really need it too much. I might as well just try to use it as much as possible then. Until we find something better to replace it. It looks like there might be more over here. So I definitely wanna check that out. I still have a little bit of slip resistance, so maybe I'll be able to climb up this. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more. I should be able to jump right about now. Cool. And what's inside of this chest? The last one had some good stuff. This one has a topaz. Definitely be able to make the use of that eventually, even if it is just selling it. Croc seeds, and is there anything cool down here? Ooh, the big hearty radish. Super worth it. Cool. Definitely can use that to cook some stuff up later. Nothing but lightning storms up here, though, so far. Ooh, there's like a bunch of stuff down below us, too. It makes me really think, like, which way do we want to traverse this? Because, like, no matter what, we might be missing some things. I think I'll stay where I am for now because this is definitely where it gets complicated. You can see there's this like these railings, but I guess if we didn't want to do that, we could just use the lower path. Hmm. Oh, there's some enemies above us. I saw the little question mark there for a second, but I guess we could create something here to go around all of these railings. Before I get carried away with it, if I can explore around here, it really probably will be worth it. Even if we are just getting like extra construct pieces and stuff. Are they gold? I mean, sort of. Gotcha. Oh, see ya. Oh, they fall all the way. Oh, they're falling all the way. See ya. Yikes. That's not so good. So one of their monster parts at least, but I guess that's not gonna happen. I do see you over here. Oh, they're really trying to dodge me. Got them pretty good with that attack. Then we can, um, I think, switch over to the Captain for Reaper. Maybe pick up some of their stuff. There you go. Nope, it all fell. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, they're getting zapped down there, too. Now, you will have a strong one for sure. 
I'm trying to, okay, Tulin's got it. I guess it might not be as strong as we're used to at this rate. Okay, did I pick it up? I did, the, the soldier construct three horn. I wonder if there'll be anything up here. We're gonna slide, that wasn't really worth it. You just can't jump and climb while it's raining, even with the slip resistance. Not much up here, but it will help me get across to this way. There's a lot more going on. Actually, let's get a little bit closer. Now I'll do it. Hitting you three times feels pretty good. Then I just slice you once and we got gotcha. Because you probably have some nice things. There we go. Uh, Mighty Contra Bow's also good, but... Oh, I just barely missed you there. Will that send them off the side again? It will. Once again, I don't know if that was worth it. I mean, they're, ooh, they dropped their stuff down there. So actually it was worth it, in my opinion. And there's a chest down that way too. So lots of stuff to do around here now. How about they just break this stuff open? Try to find a way to do this. I mean, oh, I see. So, uh, I don't know if Yunobo can do that one, so I'm just gonna use the bomb arrow. Um, and it should get zapped. Just like that, right? I don't know if I should be near it. Would that help? What if I equip something, like, conductive? I'm just waiting. You would think that would do something, but so far it's not. Here, let me uh, get up this way. So I really want to open this up. There's a treasure chest down below us. What if I'm just chilling out up here with my, my very conductive gear? Now it doesn't care. <laughs> this is so silly. Come on. Okay, here it goes. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but maybe I could like equip some non-conductive things now. There it goes, there it goes, okay, that worked. Cool, so we just gotta stand right here. And we're going down. Cool. And what do we got in here? An old map, a very old map that shows a marked spot. What could be there? Whoa, and it's gonna be in the depths, an area we weren't too far from. Very exciting. Anyways, we're heading right back up. So there's still more to find. But where did that one thing fall? It was right down here. I wanted to get those because it seemed like they'd be really good. They're right over here. The Soldier Construct 4. Anything Construct 4 right now is really, really good. That's where I just gotta keep questioning, like, you know, which way is the best way to kill right now. Seems like there's just a lot of stuff to find both above and below. But I think I've mostly cleared out this area. I do see some electric keys over there. But right now I suppose I'm just trying to find a place to ascend back up. Hopefully I can make this, I'm a little nervous now. Ready, and jump, got it. Ooh, that was scary. And I will just get rid of you before that becomes an issue. An electric keys eyeball. Search this thing for a zone I charge. And get my arrow back. See, the problem is that this one doesn't have any way to zip up it, but I wonder. Okay, I might save for this jump. Hold on. Save, save. You can see a little opening there that I might be able to. Ooh. Yeah, I might not make it. I might make it but I also might not make it. Oh no. Okay, ready, and no, come on, I was about to press jump. Hold on, uh, do I have the gear on right now? I don't, there we go. A little bit of slip resistance might do me all the difference in the world right now. So if I just jump right about now, got it. Okay, cool, I'm going up. Close one. Now where are we? I don't know. 
Uh oh. Whoa, hey, buddy. The Flux Construct 3. Oh, no. This is a new one. Okay, let's get a picture of her real quick. It's not the most, you know, professional photo. But <laughs> this guy is huge. And he's doing a fancy dance. What do I do about this, huh? Okay, I see that chest on you. Um, there it is, right? This is the one I, ow. Okay, that didn't work. Where did you go? Right there. Oh, I missed it. It keeps like teleporting around. This is really hard to keep up with. Um, I'm rolling that at you, but I missed. Here, what if I get some help with this and then right there. Did that do anything? Sorta, of, kind of. There it is. <laughs> it's on your butt right now. Okay, there we go. Got a couple of hits in, but I need more than that. Oh, this is nuts. This is nuts. Where is it? Right there. Here, give me a chance. I gotta make sure that this is available. And then maybe if I could just yoink it. There we go. Cool. So I just need to equip something that'll really pack a punch here and then just go in on it. There we go. Come on. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. We're doing really good so far. It's about halfway down. So I can maybe take the opportunity again. Where did it go? Oh, it's up there. Uh, we're just gonna launch these at me. Very scary. Oh, you know what I need to do? I've done this before, right? I need to try to find my way up. But unfortunately, it's not gonna work that way. It's too high up. Uh, oh, and there's a shrine over there too. Uh, whoa. Is it any lower now? Not really. I might have to get like on top of the cube and get it to rewind or something. Cause I don't see how else I'm getting up there. Whoa. Oh, okay, ready, ready. Get on top of it, go like this, and got it. Okay, hold on tight, Link. Whoa! Come on, keep going, keep going. There we go. We're almost there, we're almost there. Okay, we're on top of it. I have a good weapon equipped, start slicing. And then this whole thing is gonna fall apart here in a moment. Oh man, good thing I have this electric stuff on because I feel like it's trying to electrocute me. Come on, there it is, awesome. Flux Construct 3 defeated. That was a cool one for sure. Look at all this stuff we got. Really, really good. So this is a brand new one. Of course, it's like tripled up. So what I think we should probably do here is get our thing right here, that's Mighty Zonite Spear. We can make a really powerful spear out of this, I think. Boom. Plus 40 damage, you have 50 damage on this thing. That's pretty crazy, right? So that's a really cool one. I sort of, you know, just got surprised by that boss fight, but it was well worth it. So in there is a shrine waiting for us. That is definitely something I want to figure out now. But what a cool fight though. So what's going on up this way? It looks like I could, yeah, you know, it looks like they've pre-made a couple for me here. That might be worth doing, especially if I don't have any other way to get up. So what I'd really have to do, is grab one of those. And just make sure it's attached right there. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that was scary. Yeah, I guess that's why everything here is made out of wood instead of like a, a more firm material. So it all just gets zapped. So I'll just place this uh, right here. I hope that this is enough for us to get moving. I'll switch to a different weapon for now. But I guess I should keep this equipped. All right. Let's go. <laughs> or not. Why is this not working? I think it's because this needs to be more like that. Yep, okay, please don't leave me. That was almost a disaster. So where am I headed? I don't know, I'm a little lost. I think I wanna get on this and then jump on those little islands. I could have shortcutted it, but seeing how there are some enemies to fight over here, I might as well have some fun with it. We'll just slice you a few times to get rid of that. Got it. And then, oh, hey, ooh. That was almost a disaster, but we're fine, we're fine. I keep slicing you. Oh, I tried to, I tried to bury that, it did not work. Um, yeah, help me out here, you can. And then we will slam on you, or not, okay, great. This is actually really scary. Let me back up a little bit. I need to eat some food. I need to make some food, I think, might be better. Um, here, this will add us some extra stamina. Okay, got you a little bit. It's a little bit more team. <laughs> They're just throwing rocks at us now. Here. Okay, guys. Guys, I could have used that stuff. So silly. Okay, so 
this shield is stronger than this shield. Interesting. I guess I'll drop a uh, night shield then. It's at 55. Whoa. It's the same type of shield. It's just a little bit stronger. I don't see too much more else to do around here, though. So I think I would like to just find our way up there, and the best way to do that would be to probably get to these islands. Got it. And then from there, we jump up like this. And I think just, yeah, right under some of these. This is really what I'm looking for. So I'm hoping that this will get me to that one shrine. It might not be. It might be one of the other ones, but I can at least fly, you know, swim my way up here, whatever we're doing. Oh, there's a chest up on this one, cool. Uh-oh, uh, it's scary. I guess I just gotta be quick with this. I got it. <laughs> that was really quick. And we get a shock emitter. Cool, glad to have it. So I'm still looking for wherever that shrine could be. Oh, we got a place we can cook here. I need to take advantage of that and really make some delicious meals. Uh, first, break this stuff open for a couple more arrows because I used a couple of them in the last few fights. Ooh, a bundle of five of them. So I just need to get some flint, which I have an abundance of. Drop that right there, give it a slice. And we got a fire roaring. So let's see what we can do with this. Um, If I just organize by type, I know that we just found a big hearty truffle. It's my only one. So I just need to make sure that this really goes to good use. I don't know if this will help at all as adding extra, but it might, who knows? It'll definitely be full recovery plus five hearts is huge. Um, I don't need this one. This one gives me heat resistance. I want something like this. Um, Increase your heart recovery. Cause like right now, I just need as much heart recovery as possible, I think. Cause that'll be six heart recovery. Uh, and then something like that with these berries. Cause I have a lot of these berries and they sort of work similarly to apples, I think. Yep, we get uh, seven hearts from that one. Let's try this. Ooh, yep, okay, this is going pretty well then. What if I did this? Would this give me even more heart recovery? Yes, it will. So the more tomatoes, the more Hylian tomatoes, the more heart recovery. So plop all those in. And then I'll do two of these. And this uh, resistance to electricity. I mean, technically wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Shock resistance, seven hearts too. Mm, that blinds enemies if I throw them at them, so that might be good. Then of course, increased attack power during thunderstorms. That's basically all we're doing around here, so I should probably get a couple of these out just for the fun of it. There we go. Doesn't restore a lot of health, but could do a little bit more like that. Nice, stormy weather attack for eight minutes. Just one of them does that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we do also have a lot of raw prime meat, which I'll combine with something like the shock fruit. With the stormy meat skewer, cool. And I think we'll just make a tiny bit more. Well, what else we might wanna craft here? With the stamina of bass, it'll restore some stamina. So maybe I'll get two of those. And just some of these berries. And we'll get the energized fish skewer, cool. That feels pretty good to me right now. I might just do something like this just so we can restore a little bit right now, the simmered fruit. So if I go to my food, eat the simmered fruit, we're pretty much back at the lab, like pretty close to it. So enough for me to be happy. I think in there is where I'm trying to get to, right? Sort of hard to tell. I sort of want to just plop back down and go up through here. I think I might end up inside the platform. I might be wrong, but I think I might end up inside the platform. Nope, okay. That's fine. So we just have to look around a little bit. It's right there. So it's just, how am I getting in? Cause I don't really see a spot where we can go up through, maybe right there. It's definitely not any of these other ones. So let's give this a try then. Right there. Let's see where we end up. Somewhere interesting. I'm a little confused. Ooh, a little butterfly. I'm scaring it off though. Yeah, I'm not seeing an entrance around here. 
thought that would maybe lead me off at a better spot. There's gotta be a way to get to that shrine, but it might not be the way I'm thinking, you know? Oh, look at this. Okay, we got uh, one of these. Okay, I think I see up there. That might open up a path for me to get to the shrine or something. And there's just a big opening over here with a like-like. There's a lot to do. So let's first go all, all the way down here to the bottom of the menu and we can use one, I guess, but I wanted to hold a couple of them, put them in here and get ourselves a lot more. I'm hoping for, uh, I think, or the, the, the platforms that when you hit them, they stay in place. That would be nice. <laughs> but I don't see any of those here. Look so at batteries, a bunch of fans, a bunch of shock emitters. Gotcha. Let's head into here then. Oh, there's multiple like likes. Uh, that's gross. Um, I don't really see a good way to entirely deal with them. I can do that though. I don't want to use all my arrows this way, but I don't really see a better way to do it. Just because these enemies are hard to get to. Oh, here's my chance. Let's switch to something I can really do some numbers on. Uh, we'll switch to this and then just go, go. Come on, come on. That's it. Perfect. And then you over here. How are you doing? Um, There we go. I don't know why they're trying to show their tongue at me like that. Usually that's their weak spot. You'd think they would know that. Uh, Cool. I'll grab that. And then a couple of other rewards here. Uh, oh, the Zonite things. I definitely want to grab those. Up. You know what? Let me pick this stuff up and then put it all over here so that I can work on it all together. It looks like we're getting two Zonite sword holder things, which really make the most of those with all the cool um, construct stuff we're getting. There's definitely something to be done there. So. That chest over, and then lastly, over here, I do see stone and this chest. Cool, with all that over there, let's see what kind of rewards we just got. So first off in this chest, we have the Mighty Construct Bow. Always good to have that one. <laughs> we keep hurting Link's foot, I feel bad. Uh, another Mighty Construct Bow with durability up. Only 24 damage though, so I can only really reason getting rid of one. Something like that. And then this one. I'm sorry, Link. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Mighty Zonite Longsword. Ooh, with attack up plus eight. That could actually be really good. So I think I might just drop this to a pad rod because I don't really need it. Um, Have I gotten this thing before? It looks sort of different, doesn't it? It is new. So yeah, the, the mighty Zonite Longsword. So I'll, I'll take a picture of this in the reader description that I have there. Very nice. So yeah, pick that up. Go here. A powerful large sword used by Zonai and made of Zonite. It resonates with attached Zonai devices to greatly increase its attack power. You can see it is a two-handed thing. Really cool looking. I think that we're going to um definitely get something nice on there. We go up here like this, and then I sort by fuse attack power. I don't really have another one just yet. I mean, I have a couple of these, but I might just want to wait until I have another one of those, because that'd be really, really nice. Okay, we can open this one without breaking Link's foot. A big battery. Okay, that was actually the least exciting part of the reward. So if I go up here. Okay, we're here. What is with this? Okay, well, this will launch me over there, which is great in some ways, because that's like the way I'm headed, right? Yeah, but not really a clear way to get to the, the shrine still. So I'm sort of like obsessing over it, but you know, it's good to get those. So I'm just trying to figure out what do I do? Because it's right under us right now, right? I believe so. Definitely don't see anything here I can do. I mean, I guess, what if I got all these cubes, made a big structure with them, and then use that to maybe help me get up to what I'm trying to get to? This could be a really bad idea because it could all just get zapped, but I have a little bit of an idea with it then. So do this for now. 
I have all of these. And then, yeah, they are immediately attracting some electrical attention. What if I just put it way out here away from me? And then look around a little bit. Because isn't it, yeah, it should be right there. I just don't see a good way in and I'm so confused. There's gotta be a way in, but I'm just missing. I mean, maybe I'm, uh, you know what? When I was taking the platform over, that has to be it. When I was taking the platform over, I think I was supposed to just zip up into there. So you know what, we'll do that now. Also, when I defeated the, the flux construct, I forgot to open the treasure chest. What's inside of here? Gotta be something good. An old map, oh, really good. Okay, so what is the X mark, the spot on this one? Way over that way. Okay, we got these all over the place. We haven't found really any of them yet. So, ooh, scary. I need to start working on building some stuff. Hopefully it goes well. Okay, so this is pushing us forward. I know what to do now. I don't know how I didn't piece this together before, but all I gotta do is right here. Come on, slow down, slow down. Ooh, I just barely did that in time. I was tapping the button as fast as I could. And ooh, here we are, the jo Joku Usen Shrine. Neat. So we're just gonna hop into this one, the Farron Grassland Sky. Okay, so this shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil, which means no gear, huh? Oh no, the last time we ran into one of these, it was so challenging. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Oh no. Proving Grounds Short Circuit, the Joku Usen Shrine. Well, we do get a little bit of something. We get a one stick and a long stick. So I guess we'll have to take the fight to a couple of these enemies. Oh, did they already find me? I sure hope not. Okay, one of them did. That's all right. Guardians of the Shrine of Light, we got these constructs coming in. So, oh, come on, really? I was trying to dodge that. Didn't go very well for me. Um, okay, I'm trying to dodge in some way so that we can, yeah, get a flurry rush or something. Now we got it. If I can just, oh my goodness. Link moving faster. I'm gonna take your stuff real quick if you don't mind. Regardless if you mind or not, I'm doing it. There we go. And then we have their friend over here, which, hey, those are gonna be my arrows in a second, so don't waste them. Awesome. So let's see what you dropped over here. We got the Soldier Construct Torrent and the Zonite Charge. I think we definitely need to use those to combine with what we currently have. So I think we'll start with the, the long stick. The stronger we can get that, the better. Ending over here, we have a bundle of arrows and then also another one. So let's do this. Pick up that bow for sure, the old wooden bow, which I'm pretty sure we have. But have we ever gotten a photo of this? But yeah, we have, okay. Um, Back to this then. I wanna combine it with a wooden stick. Cool. What else do we have around here? Some things that will definitely combine with our arrows, which we only have five of, so we have to be very careful. I don't see too much else going around here, but why it's so nice to have, ooh. There's no way you saw me, right? Oh, they saw me. Oh, because they got somebody up there too, huh? Okay, so what I wanna do for now then is back it up a little bit, try to let you guys bundle up, and then boom, I didn't hit both of you with it. Unfortunate, but that's okay. That was enough damage that we're doing pretty good for ourselves there. Um, and then you're gonna try to, ooh. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, I'm trying to jump. It didn't go so well. Hit their head bud me. Okay, wait a minute. Do this, use another shock fruit right there. If I can get you to drop your stuff, it just gives us a way better chance of surviving all this. Cool, and then you. Gotcha, you're done for. And then before you even get to any of that stuff over there, I'm just gonna keep hitting you. I just gotta be careful this one guy who's trying to hit us with their bow and arrow. Gotcha, I'm sure the durability on this weapon is getting a little bit low. There it goes, and then I'm just gonna toss it right at you to do some extra damage. Watch it with that. Come on, got it. That should be enough to defeat you. Getting a lot of goodies now. I just gotta be very, very careful because things can go really bad really fast. Getting back over here, we get a shield this time. So low on health at this rate. I wonder if I should just eat the last one just for a tiny little bit of health. This is a quarter of a heart, so maybe not worth it. Hard to say for now, but I know that it seems as though the last few guys we need to knock out are just up there. So I was able to knock out one of them just with that strike. So if I could do the same to you up here. Gotcha, that's it. 
Awesome, we found a way through. Your equipment will be returned to you. What about the equipment I earned up here? <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Oh nice, it just gets brought to me right away. And that's opened up. So with that, what about all the extra gear that was up here? It's all gone, okay. So what I'm really curious about then is if there's a chest around here. I'd imagine that there is somewhere. Unless this is one that'll just give me the chest at the end as a reward. Which I wouldn't think so, but maybe. I just don't see any chests around or anything to interact with in that way. So for now, I'll get up here. I don't know what to deal with this charged thing. Uh, whoa, whoa, cool. So I guess just like tapping that makes everything electrically charged, which is a neat idea, but once again, what does it do for me? We're getting a treasure chest so far, seemingly nothing. So I will just climb up here just to make extra sure it's not just hanging out the exit, because it could be. Yep, it is, okay, so I think this is it. I'll have to double check to make sure, but. We'll get the Electro Elixir, this is new. Grants a high level resistance to electricity, useful against enemies with electrical attacks. Very nice, so I'm glad we got that done. Okay, we've made our way out of that shrine and back on the Thunderhead Isles. And I did wanna take a look really fast. It does have the little chest next to it, so I guess that means we found it. That's good. I don't see anything else happening in this room, so I think we're good just to go like this and get back to exploring Thunderhead Isles. Seems like there's plenty more ahead of us, but gotta make sure I'm facing the right way. Yeah, 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 okay, I remember. Because we were trying to get up here. Okay, got it. And then if I push this in the right direction, like this maybe? I gotta see, because which way does it actually? No, see, I'm looking at this backwards. I need to get it to go. All the way around somewhere. How much does it return? There we go, there we go. I think right about here should be good. So let's just stand here and then hopefully it'll launch us. Whoa, here we go. Okay, awesome. So we're on to the next section here. There's a big railing over that way. And another big railing this way. This way looks extra, it looks bonus. So I think I would rather worry about this one. Oh no, we gotta get the rocket. That's a little scary. Um, Let's do this and attach this here. Not there, actually no, get there. Flip that around, and then just plop it right over here for now. This is gonna be a dangerous experiment. But I will grab this rocket, we'll get up there super duper fast, if not anything else. Yep, just get that like that, and then give it a whack. Here we go! Oh man, we're moving, we're moving! We'll get up here no problem, and up here with it is a treasure chest. We got a Zonite bow, 39 damage for this one. Interesting. Yeah, it's not called a Mighty Construct bow, it's just Zonite bow, so this one might, might, one might be new. A Zonite bow that draws power from your energy cell. Power drains and arrows can fly much farther according to how long a shot is charged. Whoa, cool idea for sure. So, I might just drop this one. I have to get a good photo of this as well. Interesting. So. Zonite bow right there. If I pick that up really quickly, we can charge it. Oh man. And that arrow goes super far. That's awesome. What a cool idea for a bow. So hope to keep that in mind. I don't want to use that all the time, of course, so I'll keep to some of our weaker stuff for now as we're still using those up. And then I just want to get back this way. So that I can continue on with our adventure. It looks like we were supposed to go over there. I wonder if it'd be easier just to load over. This might not be easier or a better idea in any way, but it looks like it's gonna work, actually. Yep, I just get up there like that and we're good to go. So what's to deal with all of this? It looks like it is an enemy on the other side of this. Okay, I got them a little bit, but yeah, I can't really get up here super easily. I can slowly try to climb, but I don't know if this is the best way to get up there. Let me make sure I have my gear. 
I do. Okay. <laughs> Might take us some time then. I'm almost there though. Don't throw rocks at me. See, I, just, I, I guess I am still making progress, but it sure doesn't feel like it. Okay, almost there, just a little bit more, just a little bit more, and then jump! Got it, okay. Wait up here for our stamina, then we hop down. I give you some big issues. Gotcha, and that's gonna break my Reaper thing, which I'm actually a little sad about, uh, but I can pick up something else in the meantime. Go over here, grab some nice shock fruit. I guess continue down this way? Is this really what I'm after? Oh, hey. Let's try to fight you off before you hurt me. Oh, that was scary. Um, What should I use here then? I mean, I could try the Flux Core 3 Pulverizer. That's all I need. And we can pick up some extra gear. I guess I'll head back up for now, just to sort of see where I'm at. Oh, I'm just here. Okay, never mind. I don't want that but maybe from this side. Because it seems like the underside, yes, you could go that way and it might be easier in some ways. It doesn't look like it gets us as much rewards. Am I still going the right direction? Sort of, kind of. I mean, we're almost there. Whoa, this guy seems like a big deal. So, you know what? Instead of doing all of that, let's do this by type. And I'm just gonna throw electric stuff at you. Make you drop your stuff, okay. No, oh, come on, seriously? Uh, no, you guys knocked him off. He had really good stuff though. Oh wait, maybe it's still around you? I hope so. I really, really hope so. I don't see it. Oh man, guys, that's where I wanted you not to help. I don't see, oh wait, wait, wait. That seems like it's it, maybe? Oh no, that's just a mushroom. Darn, that would have been so good to have. Oh, there's another darner. Okay, well now I'm way down here for better or for worse. Uh, I guess we'll just try to, oh, there was another. It's too far to take a photo, darn. I gotta look around for those a little bit more. Do I have anything that's slip resistant at the moment? It doesn't seem like it. I'm trying to find an easy way over. I'm a little bit worried that if I try to climb this, I'm gonna fall. I just wanna find out. Here, okay, there we go. Oh my goodness, that was close. Huh. Okay, yeah, back over there then. Really shouldn't have jumped off. It would, that's just gonna bring me back right where I was. Okay, you know what, I'll just go up from there. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer now. I don't think we've really missed much. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything more to do. I think I'm just gonna wait here, let this launch me. All the way to there, okay. Ready, and whoa, whoa! That brought me way higher than I was expecting. That's awesome, right where we need to be? Get a little treasure chest right here, and inside is three more shock emitters. Cool, so I guess I could use that to you know, activate those whenever I wanted to, but we're inside what might be one of the last ones here. What's up with this? I can just jump from it, okay. Oh, we're heading down. Is this what we're supposed to be doing right now? I sure hope so. I mean, it looks like it's the Dragon Head Island. Oh man, whoa, whoa. Uh, here, let's activate that. I almost hit that, that would not have been good. The Joku Ooze Shrine. Wow. I will have to explore this area a lot. No, the sun's coming out. The lightning storm is subsiding. Let's go ahead and check out this in the Joku Ooze Shrine on Dragon Head Island. Ooh, so this one's not even gonna be anything crazy. It's just gonna be Raru's blessing, the Joku U Shrine. Well then, let's open this up, and we have a diamond. Very nice. Always happy to get this. That'll be a super easy orb for us as well. Really nice reward. We're back out here on the Dragon Head Island. And it feels like there's gonna be a lot to do here, isn't there? I mean, first, I guess, you know, we're down here. We should look around a little bit. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, what I do want to do, yeah, I know we're at Joku U Shrine. We can throw a fire fruit at that. Get that to go away. Just so that we can explore more of this. Whoa, there's a big door here. And there's a uh, little blessing thing, a little uh, statue, which I don't have enough orbs at the moment, but maybe later. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed the, their lights of blessing. I can offer you great power, but we need to get more of the uh, lights of blessing. Okay, so 
good to see that that's there though. What is with this giant door? Can I open it? Oh, yes I can. Come on Link, you can do it. Whoa, what is this gonna be? I gotta hold? Am I strong enough? Should I have saved? I don't know, come on buddy, you can do it. Just keep holding on. I think we got it. I think we do, come on. Whoa, so cool. The doors open. What is that? Secret of the Ring Ruins, updated. You opened the door on Dragonhead Island. Inside, you discovered what appeared to be a Zonai relic on a pedestal in the center of the chamber. What will this do? It's almost, is it like a, is it one of the face pieces, one of the helmets that the other sages would wear? Uh, maybe? I think it saw me. What is this about? Oh man. Whoa. It's pointing to something. Link, Zelda's chosen protector. Take this, follow the light. So it's pointing way down there. Secret of the Ring Ruins complete. That's huge. But we're starting a new main quest, Guidance from Ages Past. And an update on the Find the Fifth Sage. So a lot going on here. Find the Fifth Sage. You discovered a Zonai relic at Dragonhead Island above Farron. The moment you touched it, you heard a mysterious voice echoing in your mind. If you follow the voice's guidance, you should be able to come closer to finding the Fifth Sage. And over here for guidance of, uh, from ages past. You found a strange relic on Dragonhead Island that emitted a narrow beam of light. The beam appears to extend straight down to the surface. When you touched the relic, a mysterious voice said to take it and follow the light. And then of course we just completed the quest, which was right down here. Secret of the Ring Ruins. The floor of the chamber on Dragonhead Island opened when you touched the relic. After the relic fired a beam of green light to the ground, you heard a mysterious voice in your head. Link. Chosen protector of Zelda, take this, follow the light. So I really wanna take this and follow the light, but I think that's exactly what we'll do in the next episode. The one thing I do wanna do in the meantime now is, is there anything else to sort of see here on Dragonhead Island before we take her departure? This is a little close quarters. Uh, let's keep moving. Is there anything more on Dragonhead Island that's worth sort of experiencing? Or was that really it? I mean, this is where we came down through. We landed on that, shr that, you know, that shrine before. Is there really anything? I mean, I guess we could have sort of seen it from there, but not really looking like it. Not even like a croc seed or anything. Okay, how exciting. Oh, wait a minute. Well worth looking around for a big hearty radish is so, so good. Do I have pictures of these guys? I don't. Ooh, okay, we got a picture of the ostrich. The forest ostrich. Really nice to have that. I think we saw a couple of those in previous Sky Islands, but I guess never got around to taking a photo of them. This horse on the lions too. It's so pretty up here now that it's like not storming. So amazing. So I had a lot of fun exploring in today's episode for sure, going through the uh, the Thunder Isles or whatever it was. I sort of wish it was a little bit more to find, but it really doesn't seem like there's much else. So we did a great job. I think just in the next episode, we'll make our way off of Dragonhead Island and wherever, what I assume is Monero, or Maneru is trying to lead us to. With that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.